So, as you already have been told from the beginning of every hour meeting, that Toastmasters is the club uh, organized to develop your communication skills, uh, public speaking skills, and leadership skills, which is now when they launched Pathways program is uh, not the full true. So originally, uh, Toastmasters uh, as a club invented their own um, ma manual, a guide, how to teach people and how to learn uh, these skills, including public speaking skills and leadership skills. The first manual was then evolved into CC and CL manuals, which divided this in two parts. So competent communicator manual was designed to develop your public speaking skills and competent leadership is for leadership skills, which is uh, pretty easy to track. And at the same time, it has a simple structure, project, speech, project, speech. So every project develops your skills through the practicing a given and next speech. And this divided structure of all program was replaced with a more integrated structure uh, of pathways. So the old program was divided and the pathways projects are more complex and integrated because now you only have one guide for both leadership skills and uh, public speaking skills, but not only. So in the pathways, they integrated also a variety of different soft skills that you can boost through uh, completing the pathways. Actually, you not, cannot complete all this, uh, you know, you cannot develop all these skills by finishing only one path. So every pathway has its own, uh, let's say, dedication, the purpose. And every pathway develops one skill or focus on one skill and develops uh, two or three maybe side skills, but uh, there's a skills that cannot be developed through just given a speeches, like responsibility, time management, and so on, like ability to work under pressure. These skills should be developed uh, by taking the roles. And as well, every pathway has some large scale projects within the frame of a uh, club or maybe even out of the club uh, that also should be finished. And the, the speech is not the project itself. The speech is the result of your project that you've done. This complexity brings some new rules that differs from old uh, competent com communicator and competent leadership manuals. So I want to share the information about the rules and how to work with these rules, how to use them to make Pathways program more beneficial for you. So the rules, uh, I divided into two parts. Rules about taking roles, because without taking roles, your Pathways program and educational program will, will be not full. And the project completion rules, how to complete the projects and how to manage them uh, in a sequence. So although the competent leader manual is dropped in pathways, a member anyway must perform several meeting roles to complete a path. Some of them uh, required and some of them are optional, uh, like accounter, general evaluator, grammarian, timer. These roles are optional and you can meet them uh, in some projects, but uh, like you will not uh, see them in the pathway uh, outline, in your pathway outline. So you must seek this information in the project guides, which could be a little bit complicated and confusing, but later after me, Tom will explain you how to use these guides on the base camp. Another three roles is speech evaluator, Toastmaster and to Topics Master. They are mandatory and you should take uh, these roles uh, before you start level four. Uh, so th these roles uh, are required. Every role that are optional, uh, if you meet them in the project, they requires the evaluation 
and every project that uh, suppose that uh, tells you that you should take take the role has the evaluation form that you need to send to your evaluator. Evaluator should not perform this evaluation during evaluation session. He can he can just fill the form and send it to you back. Later, you need to upload this form to your Basecamp. The system, the Basecamp system, does not enforce you to upload it. And it will not tell you that you should upload before you can apply for the award of level completion. But anyway, uh, one of the core values of the Toastmasters is integrity. So I hope for your integrity and that you will uh, fulfill all the requirements of the pathways, whether the system requires it or not. And we have our local requirement uh, and rule for taking the roles. So every time you want to schedule a speech, you should sign in for one evaluator and one of the Toastmasters, Table Topics Master or General Evaluator role at the same moment. And um, this, this role is not new, you already know about this role and it seems that current situation of taking the roles with our ro local rule um, can influence members' progress. That is why my personal decision is to cancel all the debts that our members have who took the speeches uh, spots but didn't fulfill the roles that uh, they required before. So starting from 12th of August, uh, everyone who had any debt for taking roles will not have it, but those who, had, uh, who took some roles in advance will have this uh, free, let's say free uh, speaker spots uh, in the future. Uh, so I will count the roles they took from the past three months. So if you have any roles you you've taken in advance, you can get a speech spot. And the most interesting part is the project completion. So the rule number one, that is not prohibited to have more than one pathway at one time. And you can finish the projects in these pathways in parallel. parallel. So uh, every new project, uh, uh, every new pathway will cost you 20 USD. And first one uh, is given to you for free. So anyway, if in, in case you will finish first one and will not take any other pathway, after completion of it, you need to pay for getting a new pathway. You can make any project you want in another Toastmaster clubs or even outside of the club. So for example, if this kind of large scale project where you need to like build a team and uh, make some project, this, this should not be our Toastmaster club. This could be maybe your neighborhood, maybe team that you arranged at work to complete some projects like in your professional area. This is not prohibited. You just need to finish uh, the application uh, in the base camp and after your club's VPE will submit it, you can do it whatever you want. Uh, the only requirement is that you need to finish the speech about the results of your work. Also, it could be uh, in the Toastmaster Club, it could be out of Toastmaster Club. The, the requirement is that this should be evaluated by another member of your club. And uh, another tricky moment is that you can finish projects from different levels in any sequence. There's only several rules that, for example, Icebreaker should be the first project that you will finish. You can apply for a level completion only in numerical sequence. So after the first level completion, you can apply for the completion of the level two, later for the level three and so on. Level five, reflect on your path project, should be the last in the sequence. So this uh, uh, completes your pathway and in this project, you should reflect your experience of completing it. 
So let's see uh, in more details what the pathway consists of. So there are 11 pathways, each with the 14 projects and between 15 to 19 speeches depends on the project's uh, requirements. But if you will see the total list of different projects and count, uh, count the number, you will see that there is only 33 different uh, projects. So how this could be 11 paths, 14 projects, it should be like not less than 100. So this means that a lot of overlap is there and level two, level three and level five elective projects are basically almost the same between different paths. Uh, unless there's some uh, specific pathway that has some uh, dedicated project. Uh, so uh, every pathway has five uh, projects that are common between all pathways and five projects that are uh, unique uh, for, for this path. But this project could be in elective projects of another pathway and only four paths elective that you can choose uh, from any uh, project within the list. So level one is common for all 11 paths. Three projects, four speeches plus one evaluator role in the project two evaluation and feedback. Level two, three projects, one of them is common for every pathway, it's uh, introduction to men mentoring. And two other pathways uh, dedicated to discovering your communication and leadership style, it could be different from different paths. Level three requires one project and two projects are electives. Electives almost the same between different pathways, so you can choose any, uh, any, uh, any project you want. Level four, almost the same. One required project and one elective. And level five is the same. Uh, the main point that you should note here is that level five has uh, mm, HPL projects in some paths. So on this slide, you can see that level two projects could be different depending on the path. Uh, on the left side, on the left side of the slide, you can see that, for example, uh, presentation mastery has the effective body language project, uh, effective coaching, coaching dynamic leadership and visionary uh, communication has both understanding your communication style and leadership style projects, and so on. And uh, for example, motivational strategies, team collaboration, and persuasive influence has active li uh, listening project that also includes taking the role of a topics master, which also counts uh, for the requirement of taking three roles uh, for the level four. Level five uh, is the most advanced level and has uh, large scale projects and you suggested to review them soon after the completion of level one to have enough time to fulfill the requirements while you are doing projects of, uh, of level two to four. So as soon as you started your pathway, you can see uh, the guides and the objectives of every project you have in the path. So there is no reason uh, to start level five project after you finish level four, because this uh, project could take like one to, from one to three months and it will uh, dramatically postpone your completion of the pathway. So you can see the outline of your level five projects and uh, start from the very beginning. So until you are doing your level one, you already know what are you uh, supposed to finish uh, in the level five and you can start arrange your work from the very beginning. A key decision point for many people, for many members is the HPL projects, high performance leadership. Many new members joining uh, Toastmasters do not care to do such complicated projects because there's a not 
much opportunities to do this project because this uh, project requires a lot of work and this uh, should be some meaningful project in, in Toastmasters system, like uh, making a Toastmaster competition, starting a new club or something like this. So I recommend you, if you are not ready to do the HPL uh, project to avoid uh, the pathways of effective coaching, innovative planning and persuasive influence. And if you are not sure about the projects you have and your pathway have, and uh, getting information is a bit complicated for you, uh, I collected all of them in one sheet and added to our uh, Almatitos Master Scheduler. So this information, unfortunately, only for Almatitos Masters members. So in our scheduler, you can get the detailed information about the projects and about the uh, uh, which, which project in which pathway you can meet. So you should go to our scheduler, then open the uh, worksheet pathway projects in this project, you can see in the top row the different pathways uh, like dynamic leadership, effective coaching, coaching and etc. And in this uh, column, you can sort uh, if you need, if you want for more convenience, you can sort in alphabetical order and you will see the exact uh, sequence of the projects in uh, your path. Uh, in the project uh, column, you will see the brief project description, which allows you to get the information about what this project is about and uh, what is the main requirements of the projects, like giving one speech, giving two speech, or maybe give a speech plus uh, arrange a team plus make some uh, HPL project or something else. In the columns of your pathway you can see which level uh, on which level you will find uh, the project you are uh, looking for and please note that some projects are unique and you will see that this project appears only in one pathway so you can use this table to choose which path you, pathway you want to uh, you want to pass to finish to complete based on the unique on this unique project because this project could not be chosen in any other paths uh, even in electives so this one might help you to choose the pathway you want thank you that's all information from me and if you have questions please wait for a q a session later you can ask the things that you maybe didn't understand or you have some and other questions that i didn't answer yet thank you